Hey guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Maybe you don't recognize me because I live in London and we usually travel and we stay in like bigger cities and do many things. But actually in today's video, we are going back to literally our roots. Well, maybe more of Ben's one because today we are in his beautiful house in the countryside and we will also have typical Italian lunch. Do you know that we'll be making Making homemade pasta will be making gnocchi with his mom that will show us what is the typical way of making handmade pasta and as you can see here I have all this fruit that we just picked up from the trees in case you didn't know this is Ben he's my boyfriend and tell us a little bit more where we are today hi everybody today we're in the Avellino province in Italy and this is where my parents live and this is their own farm they grow fruit and vegetables here, fresh fruit and vegetables, and this is the best place where you can have an authentic Italian meal. We'll go to the supermarket and we'll get our hands dirty and uh, start making the pasta. Are you ready? Yes, we are! Yay! And first we went to the local supermarket and I thought I might also give you a quick supermarket tour. And something which I'm always impressed by is the amount of biscuits that they're selling in the supermarkets. And just look at the prices. Usually they are around 2 euros. And if you have seen my video from Italy in London, this is why we were actually impressed that they sell the same biscuits in London for 5 pounds and here they are less than 2 pounds. And here is my favorite fresh cheese selection and we got Parmigiano Reggiano from there. One of the biggest selections that you ever find within like any Italian supermarket that you will ever go to is the pasta selection. So we had to check it out and I have to say like prices were half of what they are in the UK. But not only that, there are also so many different brands and shapes that you can like hardly find outside of Italy. Here our ingredients, we have two types of flour, the first one is the semula flour and the other one is just a normal strong flour and two eggs and of course a pinch of salt. Before starting we have actually boiled around 1 kilo of potatoes which after that we will add to the flour. So where are the potatoes that we have here? Yeah, we're gonna... Up to general mix here that will be for the gnocchi. And now my mother has showed me like how to do it. See, just apply a little bit of pressure, little by little. We're adding it to the general mixture. And I think like we're pretty good with the potatoes. Yeah, I think we have a fair one. Yeah. We're I looking think... at a one-to-one -one ratio. Oh, okay. Then mistaken. I think we're pretty much there. We're getting and after that we are also adding the two eggs to the mixture and you guys don't be confused like literally Ben's mom is doing everything in this recipe we're just helping out here and there but she didn't want to be filmed and of course we respected her decision but if you see some hands that are really fast and good yeah just don't be confused that's not me and Ben that's definitely her But see, these are like the fast good hands that I'm talking about and yeah, don't, don't ever think that this is me. After that she cuts it into small pieces which will become the actual gnocchi. And then you have to repeat this process for like thousands of times. And now we will also try making them as well. I'm having the feeling that it looks very easy, but it's not going oh, to be. Then so how is it going? So you put the finger here. Oops! <laughs> See, and you get a nice texture. Oh, okay. And these are the you can get ones even that are ready. But yeah, now I will also get my hands on it because we have quite a lot of dough going on and we don't going have time. So we have to make all this. 
And here is a shot of me and Ben trying to do it, but let me tell you, it's definitely not, not as easy as it seems. And in the end, like Ben's mom ended up doing it because I think otherwise we'll be having lunch in a couple of days. It's going really bad. <laughs> oh, oh, it's great, I'm on it. It's so bad. Oh, it's fine. Now we have to make the tomato sauce, and there's nothing better than using fresh ingredients. Therefore, we have a basil plant here. Wow! So all we need is like five, you know, to six, you know, like fresh leaves of basil, you know, freshly made. My mother waters this plant every day, once a day. Every Look day. at these colors. Yeah, it's really, really green. And here is the tomato sauce, we literally put it in a pan to boil with a little bit of tomato sauce and we will also be adding the fresh basil. So now we have so many that we are actually putting them aside. And they'll go all the way in. Hey, voila! Woohoo! As like this is not a pre-packed pasta and it doesn't come with instructions, you should actually check on them more often and when they start popping up on top, this is when you know that they're ready. After you boil the gnocchi, you will also bake them, so in the meantime, you can prepare the tray and you add the tomato sauce into it and also prep your cheese. In there we have mozzarella cheese and also parmigiano reggiano that we bought earlier. And once they're ready, we also have like this ridiculously big thing to take them out. I'm pretty sure it's actually like bigger than my face. But the important thing is that you take out the water and after that you add them into this beautiful tray with the tomato sauce and you mix in there all the ingredients, more tomato, more cheese, and then again more pasta, then again more tomato, and then again more cheese. And now it will also go in the oven for how long? For 15 minutes. And this is how it came out. It was literally delicious, but you guys don't you think that this is everything that we had for lunch because it was literally just the beginning. You go to a restaurant, you can find something like this. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos from London or travel related content, don't forget to like and also subscribe. See you in my next one. Love you all. Bye.